Today's flash briefing is brought to you by Power Credit Union, proudly serving Southern Colorado. Visit a location today and be empowered. I'm Renee Skinner. Thanks for watching News 5. Happening today, Letitia Stout expected to have a mental competency review hearing in an El Paso County courtroom. Now she's the woman accused of murdering her stepson, nine-year-old Gannon Stout. Meanwhile, Colorado Governor Jared Polis and the commissioner of the Colorado High School Sports Athletic Association are meeting to discuss the possibility of bringing back sports for students earlier than they plan. Now, right now, high school football is not set to begin until the spring. As teachers and administrators still try to navigate through the challenges of online learning, one school district is reminding parents that it's still important to try to keep their child's lunch hour normal. D11 officials say since school has started back up, they have had zero participation in their breakfast and lunch program. Well, the Pueblo Zoo is celebrating folks over the age of 65 this week with free admission. Monday through Saturday, senior citizens can visit the zoo free of charge between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Caregivers also get in free. Masks are required. Here's meteorologist Sam Schreier. Oh, we're heading for a cold one out there. I mean, it is cold all day today, but temperatures will actually kind of keep falling into the overnight hours where we're going to hit a freeze. Snowfall will intensify this evening. Probably notice an uptick in the snow after 2 o'clock in the mountains, but especially after 4 to 6 o'clock for most of the mountains to I-25. We will get some slick commutes Wednesday morning, and there is a little bit of concern about some ice under the snowfall because the pavement is warm. That's going to melt snow at first, but eventually we will push more snow onto that. We're going to be freezing overnight, so there could be some very rough drives out there, especially for those of you in and around the mountains. Thank you for listening to today's News 5 Flash Briefing, sponsored by Power Credit Union.